Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, I'm going to give another try to the Hero Bread and Tortillas. I think it's been about two years since I did my original review of the Hero Bread products. It would have been their bread and their burger bun in a dedicated video, and I also reviewed their tortilla as part of my Epic Tortilla series. In each of those videos, I used a continuous glucose monitor along with the Levels Health app to measure my glucose response, and the bread did not fare all that well. The Levels Health app scored this as a big spike, and if we check out the details, we can see that there was a 42-point movement in my glucose. And while the tortillas fared a lot better, I mean, they tasted great and there was pretty much no glucose response, the inclusion of canola oil in their product kind of made them a no-go for me. I find that anything with canola oil or soybean oil, I experience a lot of inflammation. I feel it the next day in my knuckles, in my knees, and in my lower back. In the period since I did those reviews, though, Hero has changed their formula. One of the biggest things that they do, and it says right here on the label, now made with olive oil. So that is a big thumbs up. They've also made some other changes to the ingredients, and we'll see if that changes the impact on my glucose score. Let's take a look at the nutritional information and ingredients right now. Serving size is one slice. I will be having two slices. The reason for this is I want to be consistent with every other bread review that I've done. So I have two slices, one just room temperature and plain, the other toasted with butter. I do this, like I said, to be consistent, so we're comparing apples to apples, or bread to bread with all the other breads that I've done, but also it's important, I think, to test the structure of the bread once it's been toasted and buttered, because very often I find these keto breads sort of start to dissolve once you toast them and put a little butter on them. So as I said, serving size, one slice, 45 calories, two grams of fat, 11 grams of total carbohydrates per slice, 11 grams of dietary fiber for a net zero. Now, as I read the ingredients, you're going to probably wonder how do you get to net zero. Basically, if you have less than half a gram of carbohydrates, you can round down and call it zero with the FDA. Protein, five grams. In terms of ingredients, we have water, resistant wheat starch, wheat protein, olive oil, yeast, milled flaxseed, and 2% or less of vinegar, salt, fava bean protein, guar gum, cultured wheat flour, wheat flour, enzymes, monk fruit extract, ascorbic acid, and sunflower lecithin. So if you have issues with wheat, these are an immediate no-go. Now I got these from a local grocery store. Woodman's in southeast Wisconsin is now carrying the Hero Bread. And the, the slices, I don't know if these loaves of bread were stacked on top of one another or what, but they're a little bit flattened out. The tear on it is consistent with what I experienced in their previous bread, very much sort of Wonder Bread-like. It's got sort of the right amount of moisture to it. It's not dry. I don't get that powdery sensation I get with some keto breads on the back of my tongue and in my throat. The chew is nice. The flavor is not quite right. I mean, it doesn't taste like traditional bread. I'm not sure what it is that I'm picking up exactly. It's not bad, it's just not what I recall bread tasting like. Anyhow, I'm gonna set this aside and toast the next piece. So here we have the toast, which I'm buttering, and it's holding up nicely to the butter. I'm trying to remember what brand I had that it just, it started dissolving as I put butter on it. That's pretty good. Again, still, there's something about the taste, though, that's just a little bit off to me. It just, it doesn't bring that wheat flour taste to it, but it's not bad. But now I'm going to finish the rest of these two slices. I'm wearing a Dexcom G7 continuous glucose monitor, and we'll be using the Levels Health Analysis software to see how this affects my glucose over the next two hours. I'll be back shortly. It's been a little over two hours since I ate those two slices of Hero Bread. Let's take a look at the Levels Analysis software and see how it performed over that time period. Levels scored this as a gentle rise. Let's see just how many points it was. 
28 points of glucose movement. That is awfully close to what Levels considers a spike, so they consider a spike 30 points. Let's compare that to the older formula of Hero Bread, because Levels has got kind of a nifty little comparison feature here. Now hopefully this shows up on your screen as well as it shows up on my screen. But there are two bars on the screen. The flatter one should be white, at least it is on my screen, and that is the new version of the Hero Bread. The other line, which bumps up a little bit higher and a little bit later, should be blue, and that is the older version. So you can see there is an improvement in terms of the spike. 42 points versus 28 points, yeah, about a 50% difference. Now the next concern that I'm gonna have with this bread is do I feel any inflammation tomorrow? Or has the change to olive oil eliminated that? But I'm gonna take a day off and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try out the seeded bread from Hero. I am back for day two of the Hero Bread and Tortilla test, and I do apologize for the background noise. There's some sort of tree cleanup crew going on somewhere in my neighborhood, so please bear with that steady low hum. Now, here's some good news. I had no inflammation from that Hero white bread. Additionally, my ketones went from 1.0 yesterday to 1.6 today. Now, full disclosure, I was very clean keto outside of eating that bread. I would estimate I probably had 30 grams of total carbs yesterday, with 22 of those grams being from the Hero bread. But now I want to try out the seeded bread. In terms of nutritional information, we have 60 calories, total fat, 2.5 grams, 13 grams of total carbohydrates with 12 grams of dietary fiber for a net one, and 6 grams of protein. We'll be doubling all of those numbers though because I will have two slices, just like the white bread. For ingredients, we have water, resistant wheat starch, wheat protein, yeast, wheat bran, olive oil, and 2% or less of wheat germ, inulin, vinegar, fava bean protein, raisin juice concentrate, flaxseed, sunflower seed kernels, millet, pumpkin seeds, guar gum, milled flaxseed, sunflower lecithin, ascorbic acid, cultured wheat flour, wheat flour, natural flavors, and enzymes. So once again, if you are very discerning about ingredients, this is probably gonna fall off your radar. In terms of the bread itself, I wanna show you this. This is some good looking bread. It's still also kind of flat, but not nearly as flat as the white bread. But I don't know if you can see that, see the, the seeds in there and everything. This is some good looking bread. And that tear was even more bread-like and gluten-y and moist than the white bread. I really like the texture but again, there's something with the flavor that just seems a little bit off to me, more so than the white bread. Almost like a tiny little bit of bitterness or something to it. It's really hard for me to peg what that taste is, but I'm feeling it right in the center middle of my tongue. And yeah, it's just, it's like a mild bitterness is the best way that I can describe it. Let's see how it is toasted with butter though. All right, here is my toasted and buttered slice of bread. Just like the white bread, it held up very well to the butter. With the toasting and the butter, I'm not picking up nearly as much, just barely any of that bitterness. This is pretty good, and man, oh man, I just love the seeds in this. All right, I'm gonna finish this toasted slice as well as the untoasted slice, and I'll be back in two hours, maybe a little bit longer, and let you know how this performed on my glucose. All right, let's open up the levels analysis software and see how the seeded bread affected my glucose over the last two hours. This is a bit of a surprise and a pleasant surprise. It is rated a stable response. Let's take a look at how much my glucose actually moved. Only 12 points. That is pretty good. That puts this sort of, well, actually, darn near in the top tier of the keto breads that I've tested in terms of glucose response. Now I'll be back in a day or two to do the final segment of this video where I try out the Hero Tortilla. Now that performed really well in terms of blood glucose in my initial test of that. However, with the canola oil, I really felt my knuckles and knees and back getting stiff. But that will be in the next segment. All right, it's time to give the Hero Tortillas their day in court. 
Now, full disclosure, I recorded this exact same video that I'm about to record yesterday. However, my neighbor across the street was having his driveway repaired, so there was a lot of jackhammer noise that just, it was, it was dominating the video. So I'm gonna do this again, here we go. In a moment, after I finish the taste test, I will share with you what the impact these had on my blood glucose, my ketones, and whether or not I experienced any inflammation. But first, let's take a look at the nutritional information and ingredients. Serving size, one tortilla, 80 calories, five grams of total fat, 16 grams of total carbohydrates, of which 15 are dietary fiber for a net one, and seven grams of protein. For ingredients, we have resistant wheat starch, water, wheat protein, olive oil, milled flaxseed, and 2% or less of leavening, allulose, salt, fava bean protein, yeast, guar gum, calcium propionate, and fumaric acid to retain freshness, and enzymes. I've warmed up one of the tortillas in this microwavable tortilla warmer. It smells just ever so vaguely of a flour tortilla. The pliability on this is really nice. It's got some good stretch to it. I think this would stand up to pretty much any sort of filling you'd put in. Taste-wise, not a whole lot going on, but that's okay. Because for me, a tortilla is all about structure. If it doesn't taste bad, and this definitely doesn't taste bad, then it's good. So now let's see what the results are from my continuous glucose monitor. Levels Health scores this as a nine, a stable response. Let's check out the details. 15 points of glucose movement. I think that is probably within the margin of error of the other ones that I tried that scored a 12. So very consistent. Now here's some good news for you. No inflammation. I've been eating these Hero products now for three days in a row, have not had any knuckle pain, knee pain, back pain, any of the things that I typically get when I'm eating something with like canola oil or soybean oil. So I am pretty thrilled with their decision to move to olive oil. Also, let's take a look at where my ketones are at after eating these bread and tortilla products for three straight days a 2.4. So on day one, when I started this, I was at a 1.0. Now, full disclosure once again, aside from eating these bread and tortilla products, I've been very clean keto the last three days. So if you're wondering, could you incorporate these Hero products into a ketogenic diet, even if you're counting total carbs? I think if you are doing something like one meal a day, or these are pretty much your only carbs, then yes, provided you don't object to the ingredients. If you have issues with wheat products, then obviously these are off the table. The other couple sticking points that people may have in terms of the Hero products are price and availability. Now, as I stated at the beginning of this video, these are now available at Woodman's grocery stores in Southeast Wisconsin. So I was kind of excited to be able to find them at my grocery store rather than having to order them online. Still, the price is a little bit steep especially compared to something like La Bandarita, or I think it's Carb, is it Carb Balance? I'm not sure the name of their low carb tortilla, but La Bandarita has consistently performed very well in my taste and blood glucose tests, and it's less expensive. Still, I'm very grateful to all of you who convinced me to give Hero one more try now that they've changed their ingredients because it's turned out pretty well. Now, one thing that would be interesting, and I will include it down in the pinned comment below, I'm not gonna put it as part of this video, but I'm gonna take the white bread, which did move my glucose the most out of all these products, and make a grilled cheese sandwich out of it and see if all that extra fat and protein has any impact on blunting the blood glucose results. Like I said, I'll let you know down in the pinned comment below. But that is gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. And if you really enjoyed it and would like to see some behind the scenes content or get early video access, click the join button and see what channel memberships are all about. Thanks for watching.